Hey ladies, do you want to know the real issue that men have with child support? You chasing him, begging him, and he's upset because he has to pay? The real issue is not the child supports per se. It's the idea that they have to keep paying money to a woman that they no longer are having sex with. Because men instinctively know that they have to pay for sex one way or another one. And for them to have to keep giving money to someone that they no longer have sexual access to burns them alive. That's why they're always talking about she's going to do this with the money. She's going to do that with the money. They don't want to keep paying for pussy they ain't getting no more. They don't want to be paying for pussy that they ain't getting no more. <laughs> Yo, old girl, she got a, she, she remind me of, uh, I forgot old girl's name that always plays the mothers in all the movies. I did a, a video on her back in the day. I can't think of it off top right now. But I'm going to do, I'm going to cover some more of her videos, man. But anyway, before we get into all this, this is JR Wisdom. Hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos. So I find that to be quite interesting. That is, in, in her defense, it is a certain amount of dudes who get upset. These are the dudes. I mean, you could be rich man, poor man, whatever. It's child support is one of those things that you know, you can you have two types of women. Either you either you not giving her anything and she's forced to take you to child support, put you on child support, or you're giving her a whole lot of money and you feel like you're just paying entirely too much. So it's two ends of the spectrum. It's guys that's really trying to do things for their kids, so on and so forth. But, hey, it is what it is. Child support isn't going anywhere anytime soon unless there's a huge overhaul with things. Watch who you sleep with at the end of the day. And even, even then, if you're going to have kids, get married. That way you at least have some sort of rights. I'm not saying you're going to have all the rights in the world, but you're going to have some sort of rights, guys. So she's speaking about these certain amount of these certain guys who do hit her up and be like, hey, if I'm going to be giving you this type of money, you know, I should be smashing. Some guys will throw an extra hundred. But those who really out there and don't have a scarcity mindset and is getting buns or have moved on and things like that. It, there's guys in the words of Aerie Spears that pay heinous amounts of child support and they just keep going. Because hustlers go out there and get it, even though the court system isn't fair at all. And you could have baby mamas, you know, ex-wives who could be just blowing the money, spending it on other dudes, spending it on getting her hair done and all this other stuff. At the end of the day, if you feel like your child is basically not getting the care they deserve, try to get your child in. I mean, it's in some states like my state, it's going to be almost impossible. You know what I'm saying? But if you feel that's the case, you know, bring it forth. But until then, you're going to keep paying your child support and be quiet. You know what I mean? But I don't look at it like that, man. I look at it as if, if you really a guy who out here, things happen. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. You may be taking care of your child. You may have moved on. You may have a dusty baby mama that just may be just trying to get you for every nickel and dime tracking you on social media asking questions asking your mom talking to all your friends trying to find out if you're making more money so she can take you to court get a modification or something like that within a certain time frame depending on what state you're in but they, they just look at all types to just drain you dry where you don't have any fun where you can't date where you can't do anything you can't you can't treat your woman they try to get you for every dime and court systems will try to get you where you where you just end up in jail a lot of times. I mean, judges will work with you, but for the most part, a lot of the times, man, they know that you can't you can't handle this. As much as you try, you may try to be in your child's life. Hey, because at the end of the day, I don't think anybody if a woman puts you on child support and you can't be diplomatic or you guys can't come to a resolution. I don't know why you would really want to sleep with a woman like that. I, and I, I'm not saying that's exactly what she's talking about, 
a man is, but what she said basically was that a man is getting mad because he can't get the buns anymore and he has to pay her money. I have to give money to a woman that I'm no longer knocking down. Also assuming she make it seem like dudes like pay, dudes pay for pussy, which we do. I don't care any man on, on here is lying, but we do pay for it and that's what it is. So this is my child at the end of the day. That's how I look at it. I'm going to pay that child support to take care of my child. Now you do, like I said, you do have, don't get me wrong. You got some shitty baby mamas out there and you do have some good baby mamas. You got some baby mamas that never put dudes on child support. You got some baby mamas. If you, like some of you guys only got to pay like $30, $40 a month for one child. And you're complaining about that. It takes a lot to raise a child, especially in my opinion, the younger they are. They say the older they are, but the younger they are. When you got child care and stuff like that, you got to deal with. I mean, come on, bro. You know, but baby, a lot of a lot of the ones y'all dealing with, you know, that's how it is. A lot of the ones y'all dealing with, y'all just wanted to use them for a seed at the end of the day. You told him that you were on the pill, or you told him you was taking the pill. You told him you was on a depo shot. You told him that you was doing all this stuff like that. And at the end of the day, it's still up to him to pull out or use protection. But like my man Javon say, you know, you allergic to pills. Can't use condoms because they, they dry you out. So you just like raw sex. And dudes, when it comes to that raw joint, uh, a club shooting is imminent. It's just going to go down. Unless you got discipline and you've been through it enough times. A club shooting is imminent. You know what I mean? That is just going to happen. So, I think that you guys, if you don't want any kids, man, you either going to have to take one as a man. There's prophylactics at your disposal as well um, that you could use. Or, uh... You know, there's things that you can do. There's birth control that you could use as well, guys. Hey, I'm just saying. That way you don't end up in a situation where a woman is just using you for your seed. Then as soon as she gets pregnant, because a lot of women will say it's the guy. No, a lot of women, when they get pregnant, they, they'll switch up and they'll kick your ass to the curb. And want to have the kid and raise the kid by themselves and do as they please and come and go and things like that. It happens. It's not always... The single mother is not always the guy's fault. When, many women are single mothers by choice. I've done several videos about it, guys. Trust me. It's by choice. So with that being said, man, hey, it, it is what it is. Guys, just watch out. You, you're, you bring life forth at the end of the day. You're in control. Not her. Regardless of if she says, I'm allergic to pills, plan B pills, birth control pills, uh, I'm allergic to uh, to latex. I'm allergic to all this stuff, and you just can't use that. It's a no-no. Then, uh, um, I guess we either we're not gonna do this, baby, or you know, I'm gonna have to employ some other methods at my disposal. Just my just my thoughts, man. But let me know what you guys think about this situation. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a session with your guy, ladies. For advice fellas if you look for advice hit me up follow me on instagram i'll follow you back purchase all my books and merch much gratitude to all of you who continue to watch who continue to return i appreciate you much blessings and abundance and mercy to you all this is wisdom i'm out of here peace it's god's beef maker i put the light in the sky for the g's that don't turn memory from god Blessings we send to the ghetto youth